once upon a time in Westminster, London, lived a girl who was an only child of her parents. And she began acting as a child, but nobody ever could have imagined that one day she would become the famous actress and model known only as Emily Rata Jagowski. But how did Emily become such a famous actress and model? And why did she choose this path? As a child, was she mocked for being a baby woman? Is she a strong feminist? Does she often go brawless? Did she really grow up without TV? And is it true that her chest prevents her from landing jobs? But most importantly of all, what was her life like before fame? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more. Since this is A S M R. Aaron, back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this read helps you get you through your day, or even better, I hope this read helps you gently fall asleep. I can't wait to get started. This is the tale of Emily Rata Jagowski. Emily O'Hara Ratajowski was born on June 7, 1991, in Westminster, London, to Kathleen Bowdley and John David. She was the only child of the couple. While her mother was a professor of English, her father was a painter and art teacher. As a child, Ratajowski spent a significant amount of time in Europe. Visiting nude beaches in Europe exposed the young Ratajowski to the nude female figure in photography and art during her formative years. Works of prominent photographers, including that of her father, left a deep impact on young Emily's mind. Ratajowski spent the first five years of her life in London before finally settling down in San Diego, California. Before leaving London, Ratajowski had become obsessed with theater. Her love for acting found her the debut role of Elsa in the adaptation The Little Match Girl. She then took up a couple of roles and even tri tried her hand at ballet and eventually started modeling. On the academic front, Ratajowski attended San Dieguito Academy High School in San Diego while pursuing a career in modeling and acting in Los Angeles. In 2009, she enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, but attended the same just for a year. The school's ideology conflicted with hers, which led her to drop out. At the age of 14, Ratajowski signed a deal with the talent agency. She also signed an agreement with Ford and did a teen print catalog modeling for Chorus and Nordstrom. She took up several minor uncredited roles in television and film projects. In 2010, Ratajowski began a career in modeling. She posed for various artistic erotic magazines. Her bold look coupled with her rawness earned her roles in two high-profile music videos. She also appeared in a bunch of commercials during this time. Ratajowski's popularity went twofold in 2013 after she featured in Pharrell Williams' video, Blurred Lines. Though the video got into a controversy and was labeled sexist and misogynistic by some, 
She believed that it did not objectify her or any other women and instead talked about female power and sexual freedom. Blurred Lines proved to be a breakthrough in Ratajkowski's career. It stayed at the number one spot on the Billboard's Hot 100 chart for 12 consecutive weeks, making it the longest running number one song of the decade. Furthermore, it became the number one song of 2013 music charts in countries like Canada, Ireland, and Netherlands, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. Blurred Lines gave Ratajkowski a sudden rush of unanticipated prominence, making her a star overnight. Almost abruptly, she had turned into a sex symbol and became a permanent fixture on several highly prized fashion magazine polls and lists. Rolling Stones, Sports Illustrated, FHM, and Ask Men listed her among their hottest sex symbols. Baking on her newfound recognition, Ratajkowski soon found herself supporting roles in major films. She played the mistress of the Ben Affleck's character in Gone Girl immediately. After making waves for her performance in the film, she appeared as the cover girl of the highly reputed Cosmopolitan magazine. In 2015, Ratajkowski co-starred in Entourage, playing the love interest of Vince Chase. Her role in the film received widespread appreciation. The year also saw the release of The Spoiled Before Dying, in which she played Agent Day, a role which was also favorably reviewed. August 2015 marked her debut in a lead role for the musical drama We Are the Friends opposite Zac Efron. In the film, she played the character of Sophie, a Stanford University dropout. During the film's promotional tour to Europe and North America and its premiere in London, Ratajkowski emerged as a style icon, earning multiple best dress citations. Her performance received mixed reviews, but she was commended for her dancing skills and sex appeal. Post the success of We Are Your Friends, Ratajkowski appeared on the covers of various magazines, including Grazia France, British GQ, Harper's Bazaar, InStyle UK, and Australia. She also made her runway debut for Marc Jacobs at the spring-summer New York Fashion Week finale and for Miu Miu at the Paris Fashion Week runway. After a splendid success in 2016, Ratajkowski began 2017 with a cover shot for Vogue España in February and followed it with cover appearances on InStyle, Mary McClare, and Harper's Bazaar in months to follow. She modeled for the French fashion brand The Couples and even designed a 38-piece bag collection for in 2018, Ratajkowski featured alongside Amy Schumer in the comedy film I Feel Pretty. Her role was a pivotal one, which she played to perfection. Currently, Ratajkowski has her hands full with film projects. Her upcoming releases include Cruz opposite Spencer Boldman in Darkness, alongside Natalie Dormer, Ed Screen, and Stacey Martin, and Welcome Home opposite Aaron Paul. She has also been cast as a series regular in the NBC pilot, Bright Future. Emily Ratajkowski was in a relationship with Andrew Dryden, the creative director and mentor buyer. However, not all was good between the two, and the couple separated in February 2014. In December 2014, US Weekly confirmed that she was dating musician Jeff Majid. However, this relationship too did not last long and the two moved apart in early 2018. On February 23, 2018, Ratajkowski, through her Instagram account, announced that she married actor-producer Sebastian Bear McLeod, her boyfriend of a few weeks in a courthouse wedding. Other than being an actor, Ratajkowski is an avid activist. She committed to a short film promoting reproductive and sexual health for Planned Parenthood, PPFA and is greatly involved in PPFA for its role in women's health on the global platform. 
On numerous occasions, she has used her celebrity status to support women empowerment and women's sexuality. She really hasn't changed at all that much since she was a tween, in terms of body size especially. You see, when she was 12 years old, her dad called her a baby woman because she was a 12-year-old girl who happened to mature quite fast. Emily Ratajkowski is actually a smart and strong feminist, a contemporary voice of feminism. This may be difficult to comprehend when you see all her barely dressed pics on Instagram, but that's exactly the point she's trying to make when she posts those pictures. She believes it is empowering for women to embrace their bodies and show them off. Emily is all for going braless. Why? Because bras are miserably uncomfortable, she says in an interview with Glamour. Bras are so uncomfortable and sometimes it looks so pretty to not have a bra line. So I just let it go and let it happen. TV is an, is an essential in American households. Not for Emily Ratajkowski, it wasn't. She grew up without a TV. So when she got her first acting job in 2009 on iCarly, she didn't even know what the show was when she auditioned. Emily deals with a hell of a lot of discrimination, particularly for her body and more specifically, her D-cup breasts. In fact, her large bo bosom actually prevents her from landing many acting roles. And so it ends the tale of the famous actress and model, Emily Ratajkowski, who lived happily ever after, continuing to thrill audiences with her looks and acting.